I just want to talk about what happens when your wick is a little bit too far to the side. See how this one's all the way over here? And sometimes it happens if the wick wasn't perfectly centered all the way down because they're handmade. Sometimes it happens. Or it happens if your candle is, when you started burning, it was maybe a little bit too close to the side. So you just take your, your scissors, you just move it, nudge that, even getting down into the wax a little bit, nudge that towards the center. Now if you accidentally put it out, it's okay. It's nice and uh, molten in there, so you just pick that wick back up and relight it. It's not going to negatively affect your magic. But you want to make sure that wick is not towards the side of the glass, or else it will crack the glass. It may not crack it this time, but it'll affect the integrity. If you look at this candle over here, you'll see that it's nice and center. And then this candle, which we just started, we I tried to keep that one nice and center in the candle holder. Now, the way I did that is I let the candle start to burn a little bit. It was a little tilted to the side, got a little molten, dribbled the wax in the bottom, and then set the candle right in the center. These are all handmade, so they're not always exactly perfect. And then sometimes the glass, the bottom of the glass, is a little bit wobbly. So this is the way you get your candle in the center, your wick in the center. Also, I wanna show you something real quick. See how this wick right here if you tilt the camera a little bit, you can see it's smoking a bit. Now the reason why that's smoking is we actually have the heat going on and it's affecting, there's some air hitting this and it's affecting the candle. So every time that flame moves, it's going to give off a little bit of smoke and the more it moves, the more smoke it gives off. And this wax, this wick actually is a little high. So sometimes what I do is I will blow it out and trim the wick or I'll just get if I can tell I can just get right in there with the scissors trim the wick unsuccessfully so I'm gonna blow that out I'm gonna trim the wick just a little and then relight it and then it's a good size it doesn't smoke as much when it's a smaller wick. The candle will last a little bit longer and um, you'll get a better burn. So even with your magic candle, sometimes you need to do a little bit of maintenance to get it just right and to keep everything safe.